it was so funny talking to you now, man. I remember um, 2017, beginning of 2017, that's when we had uh, initially met, hey, when my car was having a leak. And yeah. I was like, ah, oh, like on my Facebook status, I remember I posted, and I was like, oh, I need help. And then you were actually one of the first people to message me and be like, hey, bring, bring it to my shop tomorrow morning and we'll look at it. So yeah. I appreciate that, man. Like, I know you from like way back. <laughs> so I mean, you've been good. You've been good since then. My name is Rabia Nazrula. I am a hair and makeup artist. I ran a successful business for about six years. Um, and I think in the last four years, I've kind of taken a break from it. You moved out to Edmonton, right? So. Yeah, moved to Edmonton. Uh, needed a new change of pace, change of space. Um, I like for about four years ago, I would say that's when, you know, a lot of things, uh, a lot of impactful events happened in my life, which kind of made me question what I wanted to do and, you know, who I was and what my purpose was in life. So that was when my mom passed away. Mm -hmm. And that's when I kind of, kind of hit me really hard. And I realized that I wanted to do something a little bit different. And I wanted more meaning in my makeup practices. I don't want it to just be vapid or vain things where, you know, I'm showing the latest trend and then getting these young women to just wanting to put on heavy cakey makeup just to look a certain way and just to, you know, appease other people, you know, people pleasing type of thing. Like, I don't want to do that anymore. And I was doing that a lot. I was working on a lot of young women that were not happy with what they look like and they wanted to completely change who they were. And that's what they wanted. And I was like, I don't know if I'm okay with this. And I don't know if I want to promote that, um, especially with a lot of younger women growing up right now, especially in the South Asian culture. And, you know, it's just, I, I don't want to promote that vanity. Like I want to enhance people's features, but I don't want to cover them up. Throughout my experience, like every single time I've met a client, I've always noticed that they've been so insecure about certain things or they see their face or beauty as something very skewed and not something that is beneficial towards them they basically just want to be beautiful so that other people can think that they are beautiful mm -hmm. and that's something that breaks my heart because knowing that a lot of women out there think that they aren't beautiful just based off of how they look right. that makes me really sad and i think that's kind of moved me into this shift or this position wanting to get to know the science behind all of that as to why uh, people react the way that they do with makeup um, and kind of change it, change the direction of where this trend is going and make it into a more mindful trend and more of a guided uh, avenue. With my experiences and my history, being a South Asian woman, growing up in a very, very harsh Muslim uh, conservative family, strict family, I've had to unchange and re-kind of evaluate what I have been taught my entire life and basically taking all of what I had been taught and e erasing it and putting in what I think is right. So instead of light scared, a light fair, fair skin is better than darker skin, you know, like that stigma that's put on there in, in our community. And I feel like I just want to change things around. I want to, I want to make them realize that there is just so much more to beauty than just the physical aspect of it. You know, I want you to feel beautiful on the inside and then it coming out on the outside. So that's that's basically what I'm all about at this point. Yeah, you wanna you wanna embrace the person for who they are. You know what I exactly. mean? Instead of like yeah, exactly. putting an image that they're putting out there but not not enjoying that themselves, right? Feeling yeah. comfortable with it themselves. Because yeah, exactly. every every time they go out they have to do what they have to do just to be that person. Yeah. And I mean you get tired. You get tired of putting on that facade and that fake persona and for, for and for so many years I feel like for me I lived a double life almost like a triple life like growing up in my house and in, in my community I you know I was one person with when I went to the masjid at the temple I was one person with my family I was another person with my friends and it's just there was so much of that that I couldn't handle anymore and I just had to put a stop to it and there's been a lot of growth in that there's been there's the journey has been incredible I'm still learning I'm mm -hmm. still growing, but it's uh, it's 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 been nuts.